Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today I have with me Logitech's MX Brio. So usually on this um, channel you'll be able to you'll see videos of laptops, cars and stuff like that, not cameras. Well today we'll try something else. That's the MX Brio. Brio is one of the Logitech's latest cameras, the webcam. Um, it's something unique because it's 4K camera and it has microphone, it's has, it has Type-C, it has many features. So let's go over it and check what it offers. So let's go over the box as we said. Over here we can say that it has USB Type-C, it uh, supports macOS and Windows, macOS 10.15 or later, Chrome OS, and Linux. Now Linux is something else, you'll need to see what this trade supports, probably you'll have to download a specific driver, never mind, if you're using Linux then you know you have a difficult life anyways. <laughs> uh, on the back we can see it works with Chromebook as it's already said, Zoom certified, Streamlabs, probably some kind of external application for streaming, works with Google Meet and certified for Microsoft Teams. What else can we see? AI enhanced, which, uh, well, you know, today everybody is saying AI, AI. We should test the, the camera and see what it offers, actually. Sound cleaner and authentic. We'll see about that. Custom, costumes, customizable <laughs> controls, sorry. <laughs> uh, on the left, we have, yeah, it has shutter and, yeah. Never mind. Let's open it up and have enough, right? So here is the camera. It's beautiful. It's kind of heavy. Mm, here is the shuttle. Ah, I like the sound that it does. Hear it out. Nice, huh? On the back, we have nothing but a, a Type C port. Now the back has a different color, probably that's where the main board is, which means it's repairable and maybe if you'd like to replace it yourself someday, you'll be able to do it easily. It has kind of a stand for you to have on your desk or maybe in, on your laptop, but enough for, for that. Over here we have the installation guide, download MX Brio, Brio Brio's, never mind. Yeah, 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 fine, fine. Here you have a QR if you would like to download it. You don't have it, you don't really need to have it. Beneath it, oops, sorry. We have a USB Type-C now. I think this is Thunderbolt 4, I'm not sure, because I have another USB Type-C cable. And as you can see, this one is uh, Type-C Gen 3. And this is much, much wider. I think it's a Gen 4. Maybe. We'll, ne we'll have to check. So I think that's everything in the box. Let's close it and move to the laptop and see how the camera it really is. While Windows loads, you can see it's actually USB Type-C 3.0, but the cable is really thick, you know? It's really weird. Maybe it's something to do against fire. I don't know. Okay, so I've started the camera application, the default one that's coming with the Windows. And this laptop has a shutter, and this is actually a kind of a high-definition camera. I'm pretty sure that's 2 megapixel uh, camera, so we'll be able to see the differences. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Hello, YouTube. <laughs> so let's connect the camera with the cable that I showed you in the video. With uh, the USB Type-C. And... We'll connect it here, right? Now, I'm going to put it right here. We need something, yeah, perfect. Nice, nice. So it's on top over here. I'm going to raise the camera a little bit. So now you can see it. It has its uh, safeguard. I'm not going to remove it, but it's over there, so maybe the, there is a change in the video. So, I'm going to open it up, and let's change between the cameras. So here is the MX Brio. I'm going to change again the camera.
Mm -hmm. Look, the main difference that I can see between those two cameras is actually if you look closer into my face, you can actually see that I'm, <laughs> it, it's a little bit hot, so you can see like that my face is a little bit glittering and you can actually see like the Lenovo the over there, you can see the, um, the phone much better. Now if you change the camera once again, you can see that my um, nose is glitter, but not like what we saw on the, on the Brio. And we can barely see anything from the, from the video. I mean, right, the, the camera is tiny on the laptop, but this one huge, so you can see much more depth and much more everything. So if I change again to Brio, you can see everything. Now, the video over here is, isn't smooth. It looks like it's 30 hertz, and I probably think it's, it, it probably can be changed, but I don't know where all the settings, so let's see if I can find it. Okay, so it was very simple. I opened up um, Logitech's Logitech Option Plus, the application, and I was able to get into the camera settings. So here's the camera, <laughs> a mini picture of it, and you can see it physically over here. You have all of the settings. Field of view, you can change it to have much less, then you can see just my face, or you can have much more view angle and you'll be able to see everything around me. Now, let's check the zoom. Yay. Yeah, nice zoom. Actually, it's, it's cool that you can do it from within the application. Now, you can see that it, there are like manual change position. I don't think it's, I don't think it's available on this camera because it's more like for the meetup for the meetup um, cameras. I'll send a link to the description if you, if you reach up to this point. Now, let's go to exposure. More light, less light. Oh, a lot of exposure. <laughs> Probably some are very, very dark. You can change from HDR. Mm -hmm. hmm. Without HDR looks even nicer, I don't know. I, I, I don't like HDR, I don't know. maybe it's just me. Picture, you can play with those, all of the settings, like, you know, saturation, contrast, brightness, whatever. And focus, you can change the focus. Let's say I'm putting my finger in the middle. Hmm. You can actually see that it's trying to, to change the focus. Yeah, it does it. It does it really nice. Now, if I'm disabling all the focus, I can change the focus manually. See? It becomes much, much blurred. Because if it's blurred, it means that everything that's closer to me can be viewed much better. Now, if I move the, the focus, you can see that it becomes blurred. So, yeah, that was the MX Brio. Yeah, Brio. <laughs> I like this camera. I mean, I'm not going to use it, but it's very professional and it's kind of expensive. I think it's expensive. It's cost around $250, something about that, because it's pretty new. Uh, yeah, recommended if you have the money. So, thank you for watching. See you on another video. Bye bye.